What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Bar Boss. So today I'm gonna go ahead, I took off the front bumper. I'm gonna go ahead and drain the radiator fluid and I am gonna drain the oil pan, all the oil out. Um, this oil that you guys see that's spilling right here, it's coming from over here. So I, I threw that rag in there. I, I actually left this rag in here but for some reason it had fallen over and the oil was spilling out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna drain the coolant first. So you guys see this little butterfly right here? I'm gonna release it. And now I'm gonna come up here, take the cap off and basically let that whole thing drain out. I'm not gonna reuse that fluid. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that fluid in here. And then after here, I'm gonna throw it in a container and dispose of it. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the oil. So as soon as this is done, I'll go ahead and continue recording. All right, so the radiator is completely drained. I went ahead and dumped it in there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start draining the oil. And yeah, this oil pan's in bad shape. It's got like some surface rust or something. All right, so I went ahead. I grabbed the number 17. I loosened this up already. And the oil should be coming out. There it is. I'm gonna let that oil drain. All right, so the oil's all drained out. I got the coolant drained out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna disconnect this right here and this. So I can pull both of those uh, coolant hoses off and take off this bolt right here. Disconnect this right here. So I can pull this whole thing out, the radiator with everything, with the fan attached. And just to get it out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and throw you guys on a time lapse while I do this real quick. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the header off and maybe this pipe that runs right here from there and then finish taking off the whole exhaust system, most likely. But the first thing I'm gonna do is take the header off. All right, so I just went ahead and took off these bolts that were down here, the ones up there, and this whole thing is completely loose now. So there it is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in here. I don't wanna lose these. And surprisingly, this gasket is so good. Look at that. And this is the cheap 
the cheap uh, gasket that this came with. And it's still good. All right, so everything's pretty much taken off. I think the next thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here for now, just hanging. The next thing I'm gonna do is take the head apart. And basically, um, I'm gonna take the head off of the uh, short block. And the reason for that is that I would rather take it out in, in a, take this off in a piece, take, short block out in a piece and the transmission out in a piece than to drop the whole thing and struggle especially on this ground that it's, you guys can see it's nothing but wood chips i don't have any anything to pull this motor out through the top so that's the reason why i'm going to go ahead and do that and either way the motor has to be disassembled in order to get to the pistons to swap them out so I'm gonna go ahead and throw you guys on a time lapse. And if it starts raining, I'll probably go ahead and stop the video. Otherwise, I'm gonna remove the head right now. All right, so I got the head off. It wasn't bad at all to take off. All these gaskets are good and everything. A lot of these gaskets failed. Of course, I'm not gonna be reusing the same gasket. I got a whole new gasket set that I ordered. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call this video here. And basically, this will be part three. Transmission, and we will start cleaning and painting the block so you guys can see how, how nasty it is. And then after that, we will assemble ourselves a Vitara setup. That's gonna be it for this video, you guys. Remember, hit the like, subscribe. Catch you guys later. Peace out, stay safe.